Is your Sea Dew Spark acting up, not wanting to accelerate, vibrating a little bit, just sounds weird like this? Now, if you try hard enough, you might be able to get it up on plane, but we're going to show you what's wrong and what we need to do to fix this permanently. A quick visual inspection is often very telling on a spark wearing issue. Using my phone to record a video up in the pump tunnel, you can clearly see this wear ring has a large chunk missing. In order to replace the damaged wear ring, we're going to need to remove the jet pump. And in order to do that, the first thing that we're going to have to do is disconnect the IBR linkage. Using a wrench and a ratchet, we can remove the nut, push the bolt out of the linkage, which frees the arm from the reverse bucket. Next, we're going to need to remove the steering cable. Again, a wrench and a ratchet. We can remove the nut, free the cable end from the steering nozzle. Using a quarter inch socket, we can remove the bilge siphon hose. Now we're ready to remove the three 13 millimeter bolts that hold the pump to the machine. There's one directly on top of the pump, this one on the right hand side, and then one on the left hand side of the pump. Many of these can be reached with a long extension and a universal joint. After all of these are removed, the pump can be wiggled and pulled loose from the hull. Sometimes the wear ring may come out with the pump, or it may remain stuck to the hull because there is a seal that is attached to the wear ring that we're going to need to remove and transfer onto our new wear ring. Okay, so we got our old plastic wear ring out. You could put one of these back in and it would be fine until something goes through and blows the side out like this one did. So what we're going to do as an upgrade is take our seal off of there and install a stainless steel wear ring. Now this is an upgrade for these because there is nothing around the impeller that backs up the wear ring like there is on other sea -Dews. So this being stainless steel is going to be stronger and if you get a little stick or a bit of debris, it's not going to shove it out the side of the wear ring like it did with our factory plastic one. So we're gonna be installing this stainless steel upgraded wear ring. In order to do that, we need to put this seal old plastic wear ring onto here, and then it just slides in exactly the same as the plastic one. And you never know the difference, except you're not gonna be blowing holes through this one. Before you reinstall your pump with a new wear ring, here's a few tips to help ease this process. Make sure that that rubber seal from the old wear ring or a new seal has been installed properly on the new wear ring and that should seat nicely into the hull. The anti-rotation tab on the wear ring needs to be lined up with the pump standoff as seen here. As you lift the pump into place, make sure that your steering cable goes through the right spot, not here, here or anywhere else that it may want to go, it has to go through here. Also, you should keep an eye on the IBR linkage as you're putting the pump back in. It should stay out of the way on its own, but keep an eye on it just to be sure. The pump should slide over the drive shaft smoothly, basically seat right up against those standoffs on the bracket in the hull. Don't force the pump into place by tightening the bolts. If something binds up, find it, and get the pump seated nicely by hand before you go tightening anything. Now that you've lifted the pump into place and it's seated nicely against the standoffs, you can apply a small amount of blue Loctite onto the pump bolt threads, then install one of them finger tight. I like to use the top bolt to hang the pump in place so that I can start the harder to reach bolts a little more easily. After all three of the bolts are started in and finger tight, you can torque them to 22 Newton meters which is about 16 foot-pounds of torque. Then reinstall your build siphon line, IBR linkage, steering cable, and head for the water to make sure that this has fixed your problem.
With our stainless wear ring installed, all the acceleration is back just how it's meant to be. So that's got this thing fixed. Hopefully this video has helped you fix your spark that's not accelerating as long as it was a wearing that was causing it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.